Well, hey everyone, welcome to this amazing video. And today I will talk about a very special university, University of Pennsylvania, or popularly known as Penn or UPenn. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta, and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges, and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Well, I'm sure for some of you, this must be your dream school to get into, and you must be feeling absolutely excited to know more about your dream college. And for some of you, you might not know about UPenn, and I'm sure you're excited too to know an awesome place for your education, because I'm going to give you complete detail of UPenn. The University of Pennsylvania is a private Ivy League research university located in a beautiful city of Philadelphia, or Philly as it is commonly known in Pennsylvania state. It boasts a 299 acres beautiful urban campus. Yes, it's huge in West Philadelphia with expansive college greens and recreational spaces, landmark architecture and 12 schools connected on a single campus. At undergrad level, UPenn offers programs from four schools that are College of Arts and Science, College of Engineering and Applied Science, School of Nursing, and a very famous Wharton Business School. And it offers additional eight schools in postgraduate level, including Medicine School, Design School, and Law Schools. So in short, you'll find almost all the programs at UPenn as it offers a wide variety of programs for students. The most popular majors at University of Pennsylvania include business, engineering, finance, nursing, economics, anthropology, management, and training cognitive science, psychology, and many others. Though I don't believe in college rankings too much, and I think you should not select a school purely based on its ranking, but since a lot of people are interested to know about the rankings, I want to tell you that Penn is always ranked in top 10 to 15 in the US, as well as in the world, all across major ranking service providers like US News, QS News, and others. Once again, it's not about the rankings, as much as is, it should be about the right fit and what kind of life you should have at Penn. Now let's move to the most important second point of the right fit. Everybody dreams of studying at top-ranked college or an Ivy League college. While there is undeniably a great prestige associated with attending these high-ranked colleges with brand names, it may not necessarily be the right decision for you. When choosing a college to attend, it is more important to choose a college that is the right fit for you over a college that is prestigious brand name but the wrong fit. Okay, but the question is, what do I mean by the right fit? Well, a good college fit is when a college meets your needs and wants academically, socially, and financially. Yes, these three are important. Another question you may ask now, why exactly it is important to find your fit? Well, super important question, but let me ask you this. Ever happened to you that you bought a pair of shoes and immediately you felt it is not fitting you? Irrespective it's too tight or too loose, you won't be comfortable wearing it. And sooner or later you will discard it. This is exactly the same with your college. If it's not the right fit, it won't be comfortable and you will merely survive and not thrive. Four years of a college life should be thriving and not surviving. And that's why fit is so very important. More important than a brand name. And here are the two of the most compelling reasons why good fit is such a crucial criteria. Number one, a good fit will give you the perfect environment to thrive. And number two, you have a better chance of getting accepted in a college that is the right fit for you. So, in these videos where I do university analysis, I will talk about three types of fit for you. Academic fit, financial fit, and social fit. And today, I will talk about Penn on these three fits for you to see whether it's the kind of place you want to study or not. Let's begin with academic fit. Penn is classified as an R1 doctoral university, highest research activity, and it boasts a research budget of over 1 billion US dollars. Yes, Penn takes its research seriously and is very rigorous place in terms of academics. The academic difficulty level is high, but you can relax on the weekends. Penn's faculty is elite, top class, and has great teaching style. While professors at Penn take their research responsibility seriously, they are surprisingly accessible to students. Also, despite all the pre-professional programs, Penn focuses on liberal arts as well. So to help you understand this better, I will use this quadrant that I learned from an admission officer, where on the x-axis, I have listed the types of universities, there are two types of universities, research university or liberal art colleges. And on the y-axis, we have college philosophy of liberal arts or pre-professional. Pre-professional is preparing students for the professional world and liberal arts philosophy emphasizes rational thought and aims to develop robust critical thinking and analytical skills, problem solving abilities, and a strong moral compass. 
I would place pen in the first quadrant with the dotted mark in the fourth quadrant, which shows its slight liberal art philosophy. In general, education at Penn aims to enable a graduate to be a breadwinner as well as a thinker. It produces socially conscious citizens as well as bankers and traders. The student-faculty ratio at University of Pennsylvania is about 6 to 1, and the school has 71% of its classes with fewer than 20 students, so that is small to medium class size. If you prefer to study in small to medium class size, Penn is a good fit for you. To get into Penn, inclination towards research is a great fit. It's not that you have to take research, but Penn is suited for students who can take active participation or can at least talk about interest in research activity. You really need to spend time in your academics, and it is by no means a school where you can take your studies for granted. Penn has almost all the resources, labs, innovation centers, and all these top qualities, so it's full of resources for you. I also want to highlight the university's social pressures surrounding academic perfection, extreme competitiveness, and non-guaranteed readmission have created what is known as Penn Face. Students put on a facade of confidence and happiness while enduring mental turmoil. In recent years, mental health has become an issue on campus with few students' suicides. Though the university is proactive in taking corrective measures immediately, there is no denial of academic pressure at Penn. So if you can handle that pressure, or if you are someone who can work well under pressure, you won't have any problem adjusting to Penn's academic culture. So overall, I will rate Penn with 5 stars on academic difficulty level, where 5 is the highest level. After academic fit, let's move to social fit. Yes, this is exciting. College life is not just academics. It is time of your life where you make new friendships and explore yourself more. A time when you truly want to expand your horizons and try out new things and discover your personality independently. And that is why it is so very important to select a school that matches with your social needs and wants. Penn has about 22,000 students with almost half of them as undergrad and other half as PG. And as for the last year's number, 14% of their class is made of international students. Its student body is big and diverse. Social life at Penn centers around fraternities and sororities. If you are unfamiliar about these terms, fraternities and sororities, also collectively referred to as geek life, are social organizations at colleges and universities. Fraternities for male students and sororities is for female students. Unlike other Ivies, Penn has school spirit, which makes it stand out. There's a lot of social intermingling among the schools. For housing, nearly all freshmen and about 54% of all undergrad live on campus and enjoy a wide range of living options in Penn's 11 college houses. Dorms are covered. The quad, home to three of the 11 houses, seems to be the hot spot. There are living learning programs in most college houses for those who are interested in arts, Asian studies, and others. Meal plans are optional and food isn't all that bad for a university fair. Penn is more sports-minded than most Ivy schools and have numerous sports opportunities for the students. Penn offers a balance between academics and social activities, but I would still give it a 3 star out of 5 on the quality of life at Penn. Now let's look at the financial fit. Penn is a very expensive school. The tuition cost is about $60,000 US dollar, and living with room and board is about $17,000, so it is surely a very expensive school. Scholarships are available, but in my experience, it is very rare for an international student. If you are an American citizen, you surely have great opportunities for financial aid. But irrespective of your nationality, scholarships are highly competitive, and you need a stellar profile to qualify. Everyday profile will not get you the prize scholarship at Penn, so make sure to look at your pockets before applying. So I have a good pen one star on financial fit. That means affordability, one means it's very expensive. After exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to get into pen. Before I decode that for you, let's look at some of the facts. Penn is a highly selective school, and it's purely a research school or dream school for almost everyone as it has an acceptance rate of just 7.7%. 96% of the students admitted came from the top 10% of their graduating class. With those numbers, Penn surely wants you to be the top of your academic game, and it gives you a fair idea on how much academic rigor Penn requires. Students in those core ranges are the students who would be successful at Penn. So if you are not in top 10% and if you are not very academic oriented, Penn might not be the best fit for you. In university's own words, they are looking for students who are inspired to emulate the university's founder Benjamin Franklin by applying their knowledge and service to society. 
to our community, the city of Philadelphia, and the wider world. UPenn students possess a curiosity about the world in which they live, locally, regionally, and globally. And they also share a passion for learning and want to make a difference in the world. Furthermore, students who value and actively seek out practical experience and research opportunities will be an excellent fit for Penn. Not only do 75% of students partake in direct research experience by the time they graduate, Penn also offers non-traditional practical experience through its study abroad programs such as Penn and Gans, partnership with the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania, and famous Kelly Writers House. There are no specific course requirements to get into Penn, but the university expects you to have taken challenging classes in core academic areas like English, social studies, math, science, and foreign language, based on the course available to you at your specific high school or college. They also want to see how you have challenged yourself with extracurricular activities. Well, I've compiled a complete document of what we call as what colleges look for, and you can download this super helpful document for Penn from the description of this video below. Now it's time for the admission advice to get admission to Penn. These ideas are not available anywhere and it comes from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission. For admission to Penn, remember the three words, inclusion, innovation, and impact. Work on any one or all three of them in your life. Have you worked in an inclusive and diverse environment? If not, look for inclusive participation. Penn repeatedly emphasized on service to society and solving today's complex problems. Do you believe in that? And how can you contribute with innovation and research? Look out for research and innovation opportunities. Impact is a big word, and you should not just talk about your participation or work. Rather, tell Penn about your impact you have made with your work. Most students don't even know the impact, but the Penn think about how you have created an impact. So work on these three areas to show Penn that you really care about these things. And yes, don't try to force yourself. If you can't talk about these things, then probably Penn is not the right fit for you. On the other hand, if you care about these things, naturally, then talk about them. Also, look for individual school you're applying to and see what they value. And if your values are similar, then you will find it the right fit. If you want to be at Penn, well, do these two things for sure. Prepare early. Start from your ninth grade or your first year of college. And second, apply to early decision if it's available. It has 19% acceptance rate. In the end, if you're an overachiever looking for a college that aces both liberal arts and pre-professional, that is job market oriented programs with party weekends, UPenn is your school. And also, if you're just starting out, use this video and especially my advice on those three words to help you get to UPenn. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did, do like and share this video with your friends to help them get admission to their right fit college. Also, I would love you to subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so you get notified of my new videos as soon as they are out. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll be with you next week with a new brand new university video.